Ladies and gentlemen, please stand, please remain standing for presentation of the colors and singing of our national anthem. the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last evening, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets regular, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the remnant of the free and the home of the brave? Color guard. Retire the colors. Please remain standing for a moment of reflection from Reverend Andy Lloyd. As I offer a moment of reflection, I invite you to receive these words in whatever way is right for you, in a spirit of prayer, a spirit of quiet contemplation, a spirit of self-reflection. There is room for all of that. Holy One, source of life and love, God of many names, as we gather here in this moment of stillness, we reflect with gratitude on everything and everyone who made this day possible. For these students here on the cusp of graduation, for their passion and their perseverance, for standing with one another in times of joy and times of grief, for their hopes and their dreams, we give thanks. For the learning that has happened here, for the successes and the struggles, for the answers found and the questions asked, for the accomplishments and maybe most of all for the courage to try, we give thanks. For faculty, staff, and administrators, for family and friends who inspired and challenged, supported and encouraged, 
who modeled what it is to learn and to lead with honesty, vulnerability, and integrity, we give thanks. And for community, for the many ways in which you have made plain the beautiful truth that we are stronger together, we give thanks. And as we stand on this threshold where one chapter is ending, we also gaze forward with anticipation to the beginning of stories yet untold. And we pray that this time together today will help you, our graduates, to know and to hold fast to the hopes and the prayers with which we surround you on this day. May you find joy in sharing your gifts with the world and know the deep gladness of contributing each in your own unique and wondrous way to the good of our common life together. May you be blessed with the courage to be calm amid the world's uncertainties, heeding the wisdom of wonder and trusting your heart's compass to guide you down paths whose ending point you can't quite see. May you be strengthened by your connection to something bigger than yourself, trusting that you are held by this community wherever life's journey takes you, held by a connection and a love that abides across space and time. And finally, may all of our lives be illumined today by the hope that shines through you. And in the best of times and the most challenging of times, may you find hope in the goodness of the people around you, and may you strive to be hope for one another and for the world. This is our prayer, this is our hope. May it be so, and amen. Thank you, Reverend Lloyd. Please be seated. Now I invite Professor Sam Teal for a message to the class of 2023. Hello, graduates, families, friends. My name is Professor Teal. Some of you know me as Captain Teal. I am the faculty marshal. I'm proud to lead the commencement ceremony this morning, carrying the mace. The mace is a symbol of the authority vested in the faculty of Maine Maritime. I'm here to, on, on behalf of all the teachers, the, the staff, the employees of Maine Maritime, and I want to tell you, and I'm speaking to the class, I want to tell you that we have been focused, graduates, on one thing. For three or four or five years, we have been focused on one thing, and that thing is you. All of these people in this room, all of these employees. We work in the classrooms, the laboratories, the vessels, the waterfront, the regiment, the labs, the residential life, facilities and athletics and dining services, campus safety, NROTC, administration, health services, you get the picture, career services, alumni affairs, and more. It is a big group of people. We have taken note of what you have accomplished. You are significant, you are respected, and graduates, you are valued. We are impressed. Also, behind you, graduates, on behalf of the parents and the grandparents, the brothers and the sisters, the spouses, the aunts and the uncles, the children, family and friends that are gathered here or watching online today, we know, you know, that they are enormously proud of you. So graduates, it's all about you. Yes, it is. It's all about you and the people that got you here, and in some times, in some instances, kept you here. Now, keeping all of that in mind, my charge as the faculty marshal is not only to lead the procession, but to recommend that you take a pause. Take a deep breath and to, to think, and remember the ones that helped you along the way. 
helped you stay the course and keep your track. Reflect and consider those people, your family, your friends, and your classmates who shared your happiness when things were going well and stood by you when things weren't. And as you know, there were times when it was pretty tough. I also invite you to remember those people in your lives, grandparents and relatives and friends, that they are no longer here with us. But I am sure that they would be pleased and proud of what you have accomplished, graduates. Remember that their presence is in your heart. Keep them close and cherish that memory. Lastly, it saddens me that this year is different. That tragedy in December struck us hard. This MMA class, the employees of the colleges, college, and, and the citizens of Castine, we all felt it. We felt the earth shake. We are forever mindful of Brian, Chase, Luke, and Riley. So now, please join me in a moment of silence and reflection. Thank you. Thank you, class. Thank you, class of 2023. You are a special group. Well done. Thank you, Professor Teal. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the trustees, faculty, staff, and administration, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to Maine Maritime Academy for this, our 80th commencement ceremony. I hope you can all join us for the ROTC commissioning ceremony at 2 o'clock in Delano Auditorium. Before we begin the formal part of our commencement ceremony, I would like to recognize several groups that are each important contributors to today's celebration. We thank the George Stevens Academy Deep Space Jabs Jazz Combo, conducted by Phelan Gallagher, for providing us with music. Thank you, George Stevens Academy. We have an outstanding faculty at Maine Maritime. These faculty have spent the last four years challenging these graduates pushing them to new levels of understanding and appreciation, teaching them tangible skills, and celebrating their personal and academic achievements. They are justifiably proud of this graduating class. Please join me in thanking our faculty. Three of our faculty are retiring after many years of service. And I ask Professor Miller, Olivari, and Shaughnessy to rise and be acknowledged for the years of dedication to Maine Maritime Academy and its students. We're particularly pleased to acknowledge that Professor Miller, Professors Miller and Shaughnessy have received the prestigious designation Professor Emeritus for their distinguished contributions to the Marine Transportation Department and International Business and Logistics Department, respectively. Congratulations on this honor and thank you for your prize experience and expertise. All of our staff here at Maine Maritime have also played an integral role in making this campus a great place to live and study, have 
gotten to know these graduates and have helped to invest in their futures. Please join me in thanking our staff. Now to begin our official proceedings, I'm pleased to introduce President Jerry S. Paul, President of Maine Maritime Academy. President Paul became President of Maine Maritime Academy on April 24, 2022. He's an engineer, an attorney, and former government official. He's an alumnus of Maine Maritime Academy, graduating in the top 5% of his 1989 class with a bachelor's degree in marine engineering technology and two minors, power plant management and controls and nuclear engineering. After MMA, he earned a post degree in nuclear engineering, conferred with high honors, and a Juris Doctor of Laws conferred cum laude. Mr. Paul held an unlimited tonnage U.S. Coast Guard third engineer license and a, and a main third class engineer license. He sailed on merchant marine vessels intermittently and served as an engineering officer in the U.S. Naval Reserve. He later served as a re reactor engineer in shoreside nuclear reactors. For more than 20 years, he practiced law as a member of the federal and Florida bar. President Paul was appointed by the President of the United States to serve as a principal deputy administrator for the U.S. National Nuclear Security Administration, managing its three divisions, the U.S. Nuclear Defense Program, the U.S. Nuclear Pro Nonproliferation Program, and the U.S. Naval Reactors Program. Please join me now in welcoming President Jerry Paul. Thank you, Provost Williamson. Good morning. It is a great pleasure to stand here with these distinguished leaders to honor the class of 2023 and a personal honor to mark my first year as president of this great institution. To the class of 2023, today is especially remarkable for you, following what has been a college experience that was at times marked by interruption, interruption of a, a historic pandemic. You have navigated the proverbial rough seas of altered learning and are now ready to begin your next chapter. To the families of these remarkable young women and men, I thank you for supporting them and for supporting the Academy on their academic journeys that have brought us to this moment. Let me welcome Maine's senior U.S. Senator, the Honorable Susan Collins. Please welcome Select Board Member Roberta Boskowitz and her husband Bruce joining us here on behalf of the town of Castine. Let me also welcome some of our distinguished alumni joining us this morning. Alumni Board President uh, William Bill Full, 76, is on stage with me today. I also acknowledge Jonathan Collick, 2010, of the Maine Beer Company, who has a nephew graduating today. Good morning, too, to Ralph Boardman, 79, and his wife, Connie, and Commodore Larry Wade, 64, and his wife, Deanna. Dr. Williamson and our esteemed faculty, I commend you on your leadership and on your guidance of these young leaders. Their successes exist in large part because of your talents and your dedication. I have every confidence that their accomplishments will bring you pride, will bring this academy pride, will bring their families pride. I'd like to recognize our regimental leadership and professional crew who mentor and guide our cadets on training cruises, Commandant of Midshipmen, Captain John Cashman, and Captain Gordon MacArthur. Thank you to both of you and for your entire teams for guiding our cadets. And to Reverend Andy Lloyd and Captain Teal, or excuse me, Captain Sam Teal, thank you for your remarks. This year has been marked with great success across our campus. The state of our academy is on the rise as our entire MMA team has achieved extraordinary gains in key goals, including enhancements to student quality of life 
increasing our enrollment toward an optimum level, expanding academic programs that are synchronized with both the marketplace and student interest, greater fiscal strength through expanded sources of revenue from multiple sectors while being one of the few colleges in America that did all of this without an increase in tuition. Expanding partners and partnerships with private sector and academic peers, continued high achievement by our coaches and our students on the fields of play and competition, expanding our athletic offerings to further complement our student athlete experience, and planning for the arrival of a new training ship. We've continued to develop our special code of personal conduct, the Mariner Standard, as leaders in applying service over self, treating others as we would want to be treated ourselves, and guiding others on their personal journey to do the same. In all of these areas, our collective efforts are showing signs of success. Our students and our entire academy are on the rise, making progress every day. Today is a wonderful demonstration of that. I also want to take pride and note of the extraordinary relationship that we value very deeply with our local sister town of Castine. But through all of these efforts, our academy is stronger, better positioned to continue providing this extraordinary opportunity for our students to grow in their education, their training, and their leadership toward becoming successful alumni as persons of character with a high quality of life. Along with, the, with us, these graduates today can be proud to now stand on a sea of glass after overcoming great, great challenges and achieving great success. This year will hold a place in our history as one with some deep sorrow. I remain ever proud of our community and the bonds and the support that have grown from our collective grief and our shared healing. Chairman Oni and the Board of Trustees, my deepest personal gratitude for each of you for your support throughout this year. And Mr. Jack Kammerer, on behalf of uh, Maine Maritime Academy, thank you for being with us. Thank you for everything that the U.S. Maritime Administration does in partnering with us on behalf of MMA's role in America's national security interests, our relationship with MARAD, and what is on the horizon for our two institutions brings me great pride. Captain Amy Florentino, commander of the U.S. Coast Guard Sector New England, thank you for joining us. Your administration of oath will be the final step in welcoming many of our graduates into what will be years of service to this great nation. The 2022 report by Georgetown University ranked MMA number one, number one, among all public colleges for return on investment for low-income students at public bachelor's degree granting institutions. And this year, U.S. News and World Report ranked MMA, your college, as the number four best reason, regional college in the entire North. The work that we collectively do here and are doing here at this academy is vital to our progress as a community, in the public, in the private sector, and it will serve you well. And in turn, I know that you will serve your future employer, your country, your communities, and your family. Thank you. And now, let me introduce the chairman of the Maine Maritime Academy Board of Trustees, Mr. Jason Oney. President Paul, Provost Williamson, Senator Collins, fellow members of the board, faculty, staff, families, friends, and most importantly, graduates of the class of 2023. Senator Collins, thank you for your steadfast support of our academy, our state, and our country. It is a privilege to welcome you here, and thank you for representing us so proudly in the U.S. Senate. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, it is my honor to extend 
and a welcome to the 80th commencement exercises of Maine Maritime Academy. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you, Chair Oney. I now invite President Paul to introduce Senator Collins. I learned a long while ago that one should never stand in the way of someone who outranks them. Uh, so today we are, uh, I will be brief. Uh, we are joined here today by a truly remarkable woman and a remarkable United States Senator. In 1996, Senator Collins was elected to the U.S. Senate, succeeding Senator Bill Cohen. She was then re-elected in 2002. She was then re-elected in 2008, and then in 2014, and then in 2020. She is the first Maine senator in more than a century, and only the second woman in history to be elected five times. She is the eighth most senior member of the United States Senate and the most senior Republican woman. Senator Collins is a native of Caribou, Maine. She's a vice chair of the Senate Appropriations Committee, which oversees all discretionary spending for the federal government. Let me say that one more time. Oversees all discretionary spending for the federal government. Last year alone, she helped secure more than $500 million in funding for 285 po projects throughout the state of Maine. Senator Collins has earned a national reputation as an effective legislator who works across party lines to serve prob solve problems and deliver results for people of Maine and America. She has repeatedly been ranked as the most bipartisan member of the U.S. Senate by the Luger Center and by Georgetown University. As a staunch advocate for Maine Maritime Academy, Senator Collins secured $300 million in 2019 for the construction and acquisition of a new training ship, a new vessel for Maine Maritime Academy to replace the current ship that is nearing the end of its serviceable life. In 2022, Senator Collins successfully reversed a proposal to designate the home port for that new vessel as Norfolk, Virginia. As a result, the training ship, the training ship State of Maine 5, will proudly bear the designation on her stern, Castine, Maine, as its home port. <laughs> Known for her Maine work ethic, Senator Collins has not missed a single roll call vote in her more than 25 years in office. That is 8,500 consecutive votes in a row, the longest perfect voting record in the history of the United States Senate. That's Maine. Senator Collins is married to Thomas A. Daffron, they reside in Bangor, Maine, along with their beloved black lab, Pepper. It is my honor to introduce our friend, friend of Maine, friend of Maine Maritime Academy, United States Senator Susan Collins. Thank you very much, President Paul. What a great main day. President, it really is. President Paul, with your extraordinary three-decade career around the world, you could have chosen to go anywhere. We are delighted that you chose to take the helm of a great school Maine Maritime Academy, your alma mater. We welcome you and Christy back to your home port. Trustees, Chairman Ani, faculty, staff, distinguished guests, family and friends, what a great honor it is to join you today. You know, I will confess to the graduates here today 
that I approach this honor with a little bit of trepidation because I do not remember a word that my graduation speakers spoke. Not a word. In fact, I can't even tell you who spoke at my graduation. So I hope I'll do better than that. But most of all, class of 2023, congratulations, you did it. Every time I visit this beautiful campus, I'm reminded of what a truly special place it is. From your ranking as one of America's best public colleges to your extraordinary job placement rate, Maine Maritime Academy is widely recognized as a college of accomplishment and dedication. And as the invocation and moment of silence so eloquently reminded us, it is also a place of deep connections and abiding friendships. And I'd be remiss if my remarks did not recognize the team that helped you reach this great moment in your lives. The teachers and staff at MMA, your parents, friends, and neighbors have all pulled together to provide you with the support you needed. They've prepared you well for the adventure that lies ahead. This is a significant anniversary for MMA, marking 80 years since the first graduating class answered the call for trained deck and engineering officers during World War II. That tradition continues today with the commissioning of Navy, Marine Corps, Strategic Sea Lift, and Coast Guard officers. Thank you for your commitment to serve your country. This small campus has a worldwide impact. I meet academy graduates all the time on my late night planes back from Washington to Maine. They have been in fascinating places doing challenging work off oil rigs off the Gulf Coast, on cargo ships sailing the world, in engineering and port management jobs everywhere. Yet Maine remains their anchor, their home port. Graduates, on this special day, I have this prediction for you. With the whole world of opportunity at your feet, you will always feel a deep connection to this remarkable place. Circumstances and career choices may lead you to drop anchor elsewhere, but this school and this state will be here for you as your home port. My own connection to MMA goes back 26 years. In 1997, my very first year in the Senate, I had the pleasure of serving as the sponsor of the current training ship, the State of Maine. I remember the talent of engineering hooking up the champagne bottle so that it absolutely would break. No bad luck for that ship. With the new state of Maine now under construction, it is fitting that the theme of commencement 2023 is charting a global maritime future, new ship, new horizons. On Monday, just a few days ago, the keel laying ceremony was held at the Philadelphia Shipyard, an age-old tradition that brings good luck to the ship and to all who sail on her. How exciting it will be to celebrate the vessel's completion 
next year. Training on the national security multi-mission vessels used at our maritime schools is one of the most important parts of the curriculum. In addition to being cadet training platforms, these ships are on standby to perform disaster and humanitarian missions. It is essential that the training ships used at our nation's five state maritime schools are state of the art. And so, as President Paul has mentioned, as Vice Chair of the Senate Appropriations Committee, I was proud to secure the funding for the much needed new vessel. And I'm also committed to ensuring that MMA receives the funding to make the peer improvements required to accommodate it. So last summer, at about the time the steel was cut at Philly for our new ship, it was revealed that all the new training vessels for the state maritime academies, including ours, would have Norfolk, Virginia designated as the home port. I couldn't believe it. Imagine seeing a mag magnificent new ship named the state of Maine, docked at some exotic locale anywhere around the world with the words Norfolk, Virginia engraved on the stern. This not only defied logic, but it was unfair and a disservice to MMA's exceptional instruction of generations of maritimers in our great state. So I reached out to my Senate colleagues from Texas, California, New York, and Massachusetts who also host state maritime academies that would also would have been affected. They were unaware of it until I showed them the picture. Together, we joined forces and went directly to the Secretary of Transportation with the message, this cannot stand. We were successful, as President Paul mentioned, and I'm delighted to say that the new state of Maine will rightfully be emblazoned with the home port of Castine, Maine. Our new ship is bound for new horizons, and that's the MMA way. From the urgent need for merchant mariners during World War II to the 21st century challenges of national security, the global economy, science, technology, energy, and the environment, academy graduates have always risen to the challenge. Graduates, from the moment you decided to enroll at the academy, you charted a challenging course. You knew that this was a place of the intellectual rigor, of character, of high expectations, and stiff competition. You knew that you were not just enrolling in a college, but committing yourselves to upholding our seafaring heritage. It is a heritage that began here in Maine more than 400 years ago with the launching of the first sailing ship built in the New World. In the centuries and generations since then, Maine has established a worldwide reputation for the skill of our mariners. From fishing fleets to great cargo ships to the mightiest warships the world has ever seen. Maine continues to be at the forefront of maritime activities. You are taking on the responsibility of both preserving a great heritage and building an even greater future. Whether your studies lead you to the bridge, the cargo terminal, the shipyard, or the laboratory, 
You are now a guardian of Maine's maritime heritage. Regardless of your major, MMA has helped instill in you one quality that is essential to me, that tremendous responsibility, and that is the quality of leadership. In 1941, with war and tyranny on the march, our state legislature established Maine Maritime Academy to help meet that challenge. Academy graduates have been meeting challenges ever since, securing peace, expanding prosperity, and protecting the world's most valuable resource. Now, class of 2023, it's your turn. All here today are so proud of you. I know all join me in offering the traditional maritime blessing. May you always have fair winds and following seas. And no matter where your careers take you, I hope you will designate the great state of Maine as your home port. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Collins, for those truly inspiring words. I would, not, I would now like to introduce Captain Gordon MacArthur, Master Training Ship, State of Maine, to introduce our speaker. Thank you. Good morning, or good afternoon, I guess. I'd now like to introduce Captain Amy Florentino, United States Coast Guard Commander, Sector Northern New England, who will administer the oath. All licensed program students, please stand. Thank you, Captain MacArthur. Senator Collins, President Paul, distinguished guests, members of the class of 2023, family and friends. The oath of a merchant marine officer is brief, but its brevity does not reduce its significance as a solemn commitment to the high ideals and standards of the profession in which many of you are embarking. The historical roots of this oath are found in an act of Congress in 1840, which was passed to address an alarming number of marine casualties. The rigorous licensing standards which you have met resulted in part from this early legislation. The men and women who have met these standards in the past have a long and proud history of service in support of our nation's vital peacetime commerce, and military logistics support during times of war. The United States Coast Guard continues to oversee these standards in protecting the safety of United States licensed mariners. The administration of the oath marks both an ending and a beginning. You are ending four years of preparation during which you were taught and have demonstrated leadership, personal commitment, and technical competence. You are beginning a lifetime of challenges and continued personal growth during which you will undoubtedly call upon these skills you have developed here. Please raise your right hand and listen to the Merchant Mariner's Oath as I read it in its entirety. Upon concluding, I will ask you to respond with a hearty I do, which will reflect your fidelity to the oath, your accomplishment, and your class unity. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will faithfully and honestly according to my best skill and judgment and without concealment and reservation, perform all duties required by the laws of the United States. I will faithfully and honestly carry out lawful orders my superior officers aboard a vessel may give. If you swear to this oath, say, I do. I do. Congratulations. <laughs>
To all Merchant Marine officers and graduates of the class of 23, best wishes for success. May you always have a rising tide, fair winds, and following seas. Thank you, and Semper Paratus. Thank you, Captain Florentino, and congratulations to all licensed students. Great job. Thanks, Captain MacArthur. Now we move to the awarding of degrees. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree please rise? President Paul, in the presence of the faculty, I present to you the candidates for the Master of Science degree. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Science with all of the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. To those receiving the Master of Science degree, please come forward as your name is called. Wade Eric Clark. Christina M. Deji. <laughs> Catherine Marguerite Kana. <laughs> Xander Clays Parker. Will the candidates for the Associate of Science degree please rise? President Paul, in the presence of the faculty, I present to you the candidates for the Associate of Science degree. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Maine Maritime Academy, I hereby confer upon you the degree Associate of Science with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. To those receiving the associate's science degree, please come forward as your name is called. Noah Dean Dumas. Robert Lincoln Hall. Isabel S. Keim. Brandon Michael Kinney. Alexander Kirk. Timothy J. McAvoy. <laughs> Margaret Ann Redman. <laughs> Timothy Michael Renner.
Christopher Michael Wright. Hawk R. Wood Crusell. Chad Young. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree please rise? President Paul, in the presence of the faculty, I present to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree. By the authority vested me in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon each of you the Bachelor of Science degree with all of the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Please be seated. It is customary to present our first diploma to that bachelor's science degree recipient with the highest grade point average. Our valedictorian, John Tuton, please come forward to accept your diploma. John H. Tutan, summa cum laude, Shield Scholar. Will the rest of those receiving a Bachelor of Science degree please come forward as your name is called? Alex Patrick Disto Amba. <laughs> Amos Allen Anderson. Christopher George Argolopoulos, summa cum laude. Leon Asada Stonbrecher. Jedediah Asbury. <laughs> Colin James Berry, magna cum laude. Matthew Luke Beard. <laughs> Parker Garrett Bollier. <laughs> Jacob. E. Belanger. <laughs> Niall T. Belcher, summa cum laude.
John Noah Bell the Fourth. Kelsey Ann Byrne, summa cum laude, Shield Scholar. Igli Bijako, summa cum laude. Grayson Miles Blocker. <laughs> Wesley Thomas Brewer, magna cum laude. Josiah Stephen Brown. Samuel Raymond Buchanan. <laughs> Jonathan Newell Burke, cum laude. <laughs> Benjamin Fisher Butterfield. Summa cum laude. Vincent Joseph Calvo. Carter Campbell. Amber Brooke Card, summa cum laude, Shield Scholar. Sean Patrick Caulfield. Brendan D. Cavers. Ethan Embo Kaoet. <laughs> Caleb River Chinquette. Oliver C. Claystorm. <laughs> Oliver Ryan Cole. Noah D. Contreras, magna cum laude. Milo Cook Sharp, cum laude, Shield Scholar. Evan Todd Q. 
Cooley. Tate Ashton Cooper. Ivan Henry Corey, summa cum laude, Shield Scholar. Catherine Marie Cornell. Andrew Emil Coti, summa cum laude. Tyson John Craig, cum laude. Joseph Kureski. Nathan Andrew Curtis. Louis A. Dacus, cum laude. Yes, Isaac Stewart Dearborn. Yes, Nico Alexander DePatsy. <laughs> Braden A. Desmaris. <laughs> Aiden Thomas Doherty. Austin Douglas Duby, cum laude. <laughs> William Emmett Ducey. Robert John Dudley the Third, <laughs> Brett Michael Dooley, Magna Cum Laude. Amber Durant. <laughs> Sam Durkin. Benjamin C. Dyer. <laughs> T. 
Teddy H. Easley. Logan Z. Ekman, summa cum laude. Cole Walker Eddins, magna cum laude. John Francis Egger. <laughs> Joshua Anthony Estebo. Robert P. Finn. <laughs> Justin Case Gagner. Garrett S. Garbarini. Yeah. Kyle Christopher Gatward. Brady Hollock Gibo. Gibo. Lucas J. Jero. Gage A. Gilly. <laughs> Tyler A. Gobiel, summa cum laude. Evan John Golombeski. <laughs> Thomas E. Gordon, cum laude. Trevor Gray. Theodore S. Hallett, summa cum laude. Nicholas C. Hamer. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Hanel.
Reuben James Karkeek Harrison. Mitchell Thomas Haskell. Ellis Ocean Hemingway. Kevin Allen Higgins. Samuel Anthony Hoff, cum laude. Jaron J. Holland, magna cum laude. Emma Elizabeth Hooper, cum laude. Colby A. Hurd. Benjamin P. Jacobs, cum laude. Robert Andrew Jacobs, cum laude. Zachary A. Johnson, cum laude. Marshall Todd Joyce. Gavin Kent. Kelly Elizabeth Kent, cum laude. Andrew David King. Courtney Kennerson King. John Thomas Kinsey. David J. Coudreau. Oscar Mon Perkins Quack. Michael K. Capreas. <laughs> William Keith Labrec, magna cum laude, Shield Scholar.
Ryan Andrew Lachance, magna cum laude. John J. Lanahan IV, summa cum laude. Andrew L. Libertu, magna cum laude. Tejan Joseph Lindstedt. Chase D. Lord. <laughs> Elizabeth Christie MacArthur, magna cum laude. Roxana McGregor, summa cum laude. Brooke Ann Maskarowski. Molly Crawford McInnes, cum laude. Parker L. Madeira. Julia Eve. Malcolm. Matthew Jason Martell. Kevin P. McDonald. Robert P. McGrath the Fourth. Brad M. McEachney, magna cum laude. Colby M. McLean. David Mason McLeish. Evan Alexander Medonitsa. George Ryan McNeese's Magna Cum Laude.
Robert Merrick Mercado, summa cum laude. Noah David Miller. Patrick J. Miller, cum laude. Tamara Jonata Miller, magna cum laude. Mason Allen Mitchell. Cody Holmes Modine. Kyle Davis Monagal. Tanner G. Morrison, magna cum laude. Eric W. Moat. Jacob D. Matram. <laughs> Nicholas A. Munn. Nathaniel M. Najim. <laughs> Noah Nelsa Najim. India J. Namer. <laughs> Brigida E. Oliersik, <laughs> summa cum laude. Natasha A. Oliersik, magna cum laude. <laughs> Ali O'Neill. <laughs> Peter Joseph. Audience, magna cum laude. Ryan Paradise. Jean. Pelletier, summa cum laude.
Michael Christian Perot. Cooper D. Peterson. Alexis Lindsay Petter, cum laude. Nathaniel N. Pierce. <laughs> William Dawson Proco, summa cum laude. Grady William Reardon, magna cum laude. <laughs> Vern L. Rice the third. Elias York Rich, Sue Kamade. Walker Jacob Roberts. Andrew Rodrigue. Christopher Charles Roderka, cum laude. Daniel L. Rounds, cum laude. Jack Harvey Ruthier. Cole J. Rue. <laughs> Natalie Anna Samuels. William Yolanda San Pedro, summa cum laude. <laughs> Noah Lansing Scanlon. Cameron J. Schultz. Isaac David Sewell, cum laude.
Kyle Smith. Sarah Rose Smith. Tyler James Smith. Jared Richard Spencer. Thomas Sperling. Zachary Joseph Steiger. Sarah Sophia Stentardo, summa cum laude. Cole Andrew Stevens, summa cum laude. Emily Catherine Stone, magna cum laude. Michael Asher Stone, magna cum laude. Jacob Owen Sturgis. <laughs> Catherine Lorraine Swift, cum laude. <laughs> Mackenzie Rose Tapley. Cum laude. Uriah Bunkin Tong Superpon. Magna cum laude. Autumn L. Tid. Zachary Titmus. Maxwell Attilo Tomlin. Andrew T. Tompum, summa cum laude. Deacon Sean Trask, cum laude. Nicholas James Vaccaro. Kobe H. Bashan, magna cum laude. Yeah. 
Jack Dana Valu, cum laude. Michaela R. Wallace. Zachary E. West. Caden Taylor White. Aiden Watt Vieski, summa cum laude, Shield Scholar. Tyler J. Williams. Jaden David Wilson. Suzanne Lee Woolridge. Those of you wearing a cap and gown that have just received your degree, May now flip your tassels. <laughs> William Ducey, president of the graduating class, will now lead the class in a farewell chair, sir. I propose three cheers for all we leave behind. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2023. Speech bug only. There's a few kids I think that are like their their dads were my part. Jeebo. Yeah. Jeeves is one of them. What about um, I saw Jeeves already? Martel? Probably the name's familiar. Yeah, he looks <laughs> <so much. laughs> Hey. 